One in five children suffers from eczema. Oftentimes, the nasty skin condition is treated with powerful medications. But a new study shows there's a simpler, safer way to care for those children. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez shows us how. Stop, Lucy! There was a time Heather Karazim couldn't imagine her daughter Lucy enjoying a hot summer day playing t-ball. Shortly after Lucy was born, she developed eczema, a painful, itchy rash on her face, arms, and legs that made her miserable. She'd scratch until she bled, and then you'd worry about infection. Heather saw several different doctors who put Lucy on more and more medications, including powerful steroids. Though they made Heather uneasy, they did help. But then as soon as they stop because they have concerns about side effects of medication, the disease comes back. So doctors at National Jewish Health in Denver studied a safer, simpler approach known as wet wrap therapy. After soaking in a tub, lotions or mild medications were put on a child's inflamed skin while still damp. Then children were covered by a wet layer of clothing to seal in the moisture, followed by a dry layer. Over roughly four days or so, you see this dramatic improvement. In fact, the study found symptoms improved by more than 70% on average. Kids were still healthy a month later, and infections were held in check, all without using the medications many doctors have come to rely on. We've got to improve that patient's skin barrier. And when we do, we can do it without using antibiotics. Heather and Lucy spent two weeks in Denver learning wet wrap therapy, and two years later still use it back home in Indianapolis to keep Lucy itch-free. Can't just do it once. I mean, it's, you know, doing it a few times depending on how bad kind of the skin is, but I mean, I'm a believer. Wet wrap therapy has actually been around for nearly two decades, but this is the largest study ever to determine its effectiveness. Still, doctors caution that the overuse of wet wrap therapy can be harmful, so you need to learn the proper technique. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.